to the idea of them being inclusive. And, and this woman is concerned about that uh, in, in her talks and in her letter. Uh, and I think that's what she wants. And, and she wants diversity from not only the educational component, that is those individuals who may have a college, don't get just for college people, you know, and get for the masses to the extent that they are well-rounded, knowledgeable, you know, up-to-date, high information people, whether they're educated or not, as far as educated from a college point on. Then you get to the financial component as well. You know, many of the news medias and the papers, for example, I believe it was uh, Judge Courtesy. Was it you, Judge Courtesy, that said something about reading the paper? Yeah, you know, if you, if you started the New York Times or the Washington Post or something, which I have, I used to use it for just blocking my door uh, after I briefly scanned the sports page and the editorial page, and that was just me. But I can understand from her point of view, and I think that's what we all are trying to achieve here today, to not only give out um, the information to the masses to decide, uh, but also to key upon those who really want to become a member of this commission and uh, who may not feel comfortable if everything is geared towards, you know, a particular educational component or financial component. So I, I agree with her, and I think she hits the nail right on the head about what we are trying to achieve. This is William Andrews. Um, William Andrews, and I share... Uh, David Pugh's concerns uh, uh, and what he's brought up. Uh, maybe this could be properly addressed uh, in the public service announcement or public information or press release that regardless of, uh, of educational background, income level, uh, it's open for everyone, every citizen in Virginia to apply. Maybe we could that would be an appropriate uh, place to address uh, these concerns. I, th I think this is Brian Alper. I also think that the point that she made about putting it in the in the preamble to the application, we have all those definitions in there, just saying the fact that we're asking for uh, income, you know, education income, there are no, you know, requirements of, of any kind of income or any kind of educational level for you to apply and to be on this commission. I think that may be another place that we could add it where someone who's interested, even though they see the questions, knows before they even fill it out that the fact that they might have only gone to high school doesn't mean they're not eligible to apply. And I noted that the ad, the the um, the application questions, when it says education, it doesn't say college, it doesn't say high school, it doesn't say postgraduate, it just says education. So there's nothing in the block itself that says you can't put a high school education in there. So I mean, that was good, but I think her point of clarifying it is 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 also good. Ms. Lamb? Um, I just want to make a, or offer a solution, uh, Madam Chair. Perhaps we could edit the application so that instead of having these very discrete boxes to fill out around education, we have a more open-ended section where we ask people to please describe your education history. Um, that way, no one feels like they need to be filling up all of these boxes or it doesn't feel like, you know, they're necessarily having to, um, to be focusing on college because of that indication about the major or degree earned, we could just have a nice box that people can fill out with whatever they thought was relevant about their educational background. Thank you. Judge Kirksey? Yes. And again, Meg, you've hit the nail again that I was trying to bring out. And, 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 and I re having heard that public comment, it reminded me of when I was reading over that education section. You know, I see four blocks of, of, to fill in of, of name of school, major or relevant coursework, years completed, degree earned, and I'm thinking, my goodness gracious. I mean, I doubt that, I doubt that any of the four of us would have that. Excuse me, my dog is sounding off. Uh, but uh, I think you got one, I think you got one eye vote. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else with regard to the public comment? Those are good suggestions. Do you need, um, that goes back to the application. Do you need um, an affirmation from us that we'd like for you to make those changes? Yes, and just to be sure, I think what-, what and, 
I think we were unanimous on that. Is everybody in favor of that change? If so, okay. um, Judge Pugh? Yes, I agree. Your thumbs up. You got a thumbs up? All, All right. right. Unanimous. And could I make one other suggestion? I wonder if we could do a similar thing for the employment history, um, just so it, it, one, it will look consistent, but two, again, give that flexibility. If maybe someone's retired and don't have any employment history, you know, they can talk about what they had done 20 years ago. That um, might be relevant. So we can do something similarly um, broad and open-ended for the employment history. Or stay-at-home mom or something. Stay at home, exactly. All right. Everybody in agreement for that one? If so, we can vote. Judge Kirksey? All right, that's unanimous, Mr. Wade. Yes, ma'am. That was all of the public comment that um, that we had we had received. 